Tell me about your mission. Sure. So we, you know, to put it more concisely, we like to so back entrepreneurs solving trillion dollar problems computationally. Mm -hmm. These are pro hard problems in the climate. These are hard problems in life sciences, hard problems in, in transforming industry. Now, historically, we've seen big venture capital firms like Kleiner Perkins, for example, yeah. you know, dive into clean tech investing and then pull back because the returns just weren't there, at least not in a you know, reasonable time horizon. Absolutely. So why do you think you can make it work now? Over the past handful of years, there's been massive advances in computational approaches, AI, machine learning, machine vision, that have massively, massively reduced the capital required to solve some of these problems. Not all, some of these problems are still great for government, but there's you know, companies like my company, Pivot Bio, that is replacing synthetic fertilizer, 9% of global greenhouse gas emissions, replacing that with microbes. So there's real, real possibility to make big changes in this, this sector. So let's talk about some of the contributions we've seen in this sector. We've yeah. seen Alphabet, just in the last month, Alphabet, Elon Musk, and many more commit more than $2 billion to startups tackling climate change. Talk to us about where you see the capital flowing and what's most significant about it. So yeah, I, the, those declarations are great and we need much more of those, those type of things. We see money flowing into areas like methane remediation, which is one of the lowest hanging fruit. Um, industrial transformation, electrifying the grid, electrifying everything, uh, just you know, basic deep tech areas. The lowest hanging fruit, uh, why do you think that is? So methane is a relatively ephemeral gas mm -hmm. and it's the largest source of greenhouse gas emissions on, for the planet and it's, it only is short-lived in the, in the atmosphere. And our company, Kairos Aerospace, mm -hmm. uh, helps detect methane leaks and they've already had a bigger impact than Tesla. Uh, many people are surprised to hear that, but Tesla's... So, let's say that again. Yeah. Which company has a bigger impact than Tesla? Kairos Aerospace. Mm -hmm. uh, Tesla's 2020 impact report, 5 million tons of CO2E prevented. Uh, Kairos in 2020 was 7 million. It's only increased there for, for Kairos. How do they do that? They have sensors and they do basin-wide surveys of installed oil and gas infrastructure, which is very leaky. Mm -hmm. Leaks methane and they help pinpoint the leaks and help the companies rapidly fix them. So the challenges ahead are, of course, tremendous, but there's also a lot of macroeconomic uncertainty, inflation, consumers under pressure, businesses under pressure. I mean, look what's happening in the public markets. Does that concern you in terms of, you know, some, you know, funds that have been pouring money into these spaces potentially pulling back? Absolutely. So the, the public markets are in a risk-off scenario right now. We all know that, and obviously there's a lot of bad stuff going on out there. Mm -hmm. Things have slowed down. We've seen deals repricing for follow-on deals of our existing deals. We've also seen a lot more structure coming into deals. So this has affected the whole market and we're sort of taking a wait and see approach. We're still doing good deals. Still, good deals are still getting done, but I think everyone is taking a, a little bit of a breather and the pace of capital deployment is slowing down. Now you invest in deep tech, which takes time yes. to scale and Absolutely. to deliver these computational approaches as you're talking about. How do you ensure that companies hit their milestones and still make a profit? Absolutely. These are problems that are capital intensive a bit more. We've just heard that the capital requirements are less if you can rely on computation. Obviously, you need great execution from the team to hit their milestones. Uh, but they are solving trillion dollar problems. So once they do solve them, they create giant, durable, capitalist, successful companies that produce huge returns for investors. What kind of, how big are the returns? Let's talk about that. Um, what, what, what's a huge return in your view? Huge return is, you know, creating the next trillion dollar company, right? Mm -hmm. And these, you know, the types of companies that you can recreate with deep tech are, you know, fixing, you know, the fertilizer industry. We heard Pivot Bio. That's a $212 billion industry, 95 million acres of corn in the U.S. that can be transformed to this much less polluting industry. Um, so if you can solve that, you can create enormous durable businesses. So are you saying the next, let's say in a decade, could the trillion dollar companies in a decade be the next Apple and Google and Amazon and Facebook? Could they be companies focused on tackling climate change? Uh, they will be. And Larry Fink of BlackRock mm -hmm. obviously said that the next $50 trillion, you know, of 50 unicorns will be, will be these, these companies. So uh, what's going what's gonna to make or break? whether or not that happens. Obviously the problem is real, but investors want returns. And the question is, will those returns happen fast enough? These companies are more capital intensive, but there is going to be insatiable demand for public, 
high quality public equities that are addressing the climate. So our pathway is we're going to back these companies at the early stages and ultimately get them public. And there will be huge demand for these stocks, not to mention they will be profitable because they're solving these trillion dollar problems. Is the government giving these companies, this industry, these industries enough support? Uh, the government can always be doing a lot more. We don't back regulatory change or prospective regulatory change. That's great. I want there to be regulatory change, but that's not something that we view as venture backable. We need to back companies that have a working business model with a real product that customers are willing to pay money for. So this is very much a capitalistic endeavor. That well, we are not a double bottom line fund. What more could the government do? The government could put in a carbon tax, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, which has been very you know, pernicious. They could also um, uh, encourage uh, you know, more investment, right? Obviously, some of the best technological breakthroughs have underpinnings of government research. Uh, so those are two huge areas that the government could have a big impact. All right. uh, locally, the government in California could keep Diablo Canyon, our last functioning nuclear power plant, open, which would have a huge impact for the climate.